fake chainsaw man has been one of the biggest mysteries in part two and the recent chapters add even more ambiguity to the reveal of this imposter and their motives. So let's solve the identity of the fake chainsaw man and begin by discussing some of the more popular suspects. Naita controlling Denji. The first time we see fake Chainsaw Man in chapter 111, it was eliminating Yuko. We can readily dismiss Denji and Naita as the culprits as we clearly observe both of them fast asleep while Yuko tragically meets her demise. Despite Naita's enjoyment and exerting control over Yoru like a pet, her relationship with Denji does not suggest any malevolent intentions to manipulate him for personal gain. Also, fake Chainsaw Man and Denji are visibly present together in the beginning of chapter 129. Fami controlling Haruka. The various clues scattered throughout part 2 strongly imply that Fami possesses the ability to control or summon the fake Chainsaw Man. Soon after, Fami is revealed to be a member of the Devil Hunters Club, coinciding with Haruka's revelation as Chainsaw Man. The resemblance between Fami's earrings and the ripcord that Haruka allegedly has cosmetically done as an avid Chainsaw Man fan raises suspicions. It is possible that Fami is making Haruka act as the fake Chainsaw Man, doing what she wants. However, recent chapters have cast doubt on this notion. In chapter 128, Fake Chainsaw Man assists both Asa and Denji in escaping from the Falling Devil. Subsequently, it is revealed that the Falling Devil is actually working for Fami. When Naita questions Fami's motives for wanting Asa gone, it becomes apparent that Fami's true intention was to starve the War Devil within that unknown devil's stomach, enabling her to manipulate and control Yoru as a pawn in the impeding war against the King of Terror. Given Fami's desire to deprive Yoru and harness the power of the War Devil, why would she send Fake Chainsaw Man to aid? Asa and Denji in their escape. This decision appears contradictory. Furthermore, during Asa's confrontation with Haruka regarding his identity as a real chainsaw man in the aquarium, Haruka confesses to being a mere fanboy with the cord on his chest being an actual surgical implant. In their conversation, he even shouts and cries chainsaw man to save him, reinforcing his cowardly behavior. While this starter cord Haruka's wearing eerily matches Fami's earrings, alluding to her controlling him, perhaps even presenting a third potential fake chainsaw man to the story, I don't think this fake chainsaw man is a fit affiliated with Fami whatsoever. The Copycat Devil When discussing the possibility of a fake chainsaw man, it is helpful to understand the definitions of a copycat and doppelganger. A doppelganger refers to a mysterious duplicate of a living being, or in this context, a devil. On the other hand, a copycat is someone who mimics or replicates the actions and traits of another. Although these two options may initially suggest the identity of the fake chainsaw man, it is essential to remember that a devil's power often stems from the fear associated with the very concept or idea itself. The immense power of the gun devil stems from the deep deep-seated fear that people have towards firearms. Personally, the idea or concept of a doppelganger or copycat devil would sound just as terrifying as a tomato devil or muscle devil. Remember, Big Chainsaw Man managed to dismantle the falling devil, which represents a primal fear and is considered one of the most formidable devils in existence. Additionally, there is no substantial evidence indicating that Big Chainsaw Man is specifically a copycat devil apart from its name. So though I won't rule it out, I'm going to say it's unlikely. The Chainsaw Man Devil To clarify, we are not talking about Denji as Chainsaw Man. Instead, I am alluding to the concept of a Chainsaw Man Devil materializing due to the reputation Denji has earned as Chainsaw Man. In part 2, we observe that while many individuals in society perceive Chainsaw Man as a hero, others hold mixed opinions ranging from dislike to fear. Given Denji's reputation, there is a strong possibility that a Chainsaw Man Devil could have materialized due to the fear associated with him. Yet, similar to the Copycat Devil, there is a lack of substantial evidence to suggest that the fake chainsaw man is specifically a chainsaw man devil aside from its name maybe but unlikely power Yes, you heard that right. Remember back in Chainsaw Man Part 1 when Makima blasted Denji out of the atmosphere and into space? Chainsaw Man rips out his own heart and flings it towards the ground. This would later be the secret towards defeating Makima when Denji revealed that he had a vague memory of being able to fight like Pochita just had at that time. When Makima was battling Chainsaw Man, this Chainsaw Man was Pochita he tore off his heart with the blood power had given Denji from their contract, which we'll discuss shortly. When Denji slices Makima with this chainsaw, it was also infused with power's blood making it run amok inside her. Essentially, Power's ability to freely manipulate blood in her body to form weapons or within others is incredibly powerful. In Chapter 90, when Makima took down Chainsaw Man with Angel's Spear, Power is shown sleeping on a mess of blood and guts within Denji. Pochita reveals that she wasn't truly dead and she was currently the blood that Denji had drank from her before, way back in the Gun Devil arc. Despite Makima blasting Power to smithereens, because a part of her was inside Denji, she was never truly gone. It's important to emphasize that Power's existence persisted 
prior to the contract she forged with Denji. Now, let's skip ahead to the moment when she enters into a contract with Denji, when she offers her blood as a trade-off for Denji's assistance in locating the newly resurrected Blood Devil. But what if I told you Power never vanquished in the final battle against Makima? We know Power's blood was created within this chainsaw Denji slash Makima with, and she was also the blood infused within Pochita as Chainsaw Man battling Makima. Admittedly, while Denji does reveal that he used up all of Power's blood in this final confrontation, Denji also didn't know a part of Power was inside him the entire time with Pochita after he was struck with Angel Spear. So linking Big Chainsaw Man into all of this, what if Public Safety detained this Chainsaw Man after the battle with Makima, revived it fully by letting it consume blood, an ability every devil has, and because Power's blood is within this Chainsaw Man, it became its own entity. Meaning, she truly never died to revive back in hell to reincarnate incarnate herself back in Earth as a new reborn again blood devil and is currently helping Chainsaw Man in part 2. Some may question why public safety would take this body back to Devil Hunter HQ, but I would argue why not? We know that public safety keeps some of the most powerful devils stored in a secret facility locked away, so why not take the deceased body of this Chainsaw Man to learn or experiment on it? Public safety aren't strangers to infusing deceased devil hunters as fiends to carry out their jobs after all. Additionally, a narrative plot thread Fujimoto needs to address in part two is Denji finding power again. Many have thought this parasitic devil was going to consume Denji and Asa, which would have landed them in hell, and perhaps along the way they would encounter the reborn again blood devil to bring them back to earth. However, that's not how it played out. And now that we're 30 chapters into part two, when will there be another opportunity for Denji to track down power? Unless Fujimoto accomplishes a double objective by revealing that power was the fake chainsaw man all along, assisting him in his plans. Yet, there remains one questionable aspect. It pertains to chainsaw man conversation with Denji in chapter 128. Considering both Denji and Power's unique way of speaking, <laughs> which can be described as rather simplistic. The knowledge of defeating the falling devil along with the specific language used in that interaction seems beyond what power disguised as the fake chainsaw man would typically possess. Nevertheless, most other evidence pointing towards being fake chainsaw man appears highly plausible. Segi Okoku and the Justice Devil Let's lay out everything on the table that we do know about Big Chainsaw Man. Big Chainsaw Man first appeared at the end of Chapter 111, eliminating Yuko after her battle with Yoru, Nasa, and Chainsaw Man. Big Chainsaw Man has also gathered intel about the Falling Devil and has aided in Asa's and Denji's escape. And Big Chainsaw Man speaks in a formal, polite, and calm manner. Now, how do all these point to Segi and the Justice Devil? First, we need to examine why Big Chainsaw Man eliminated Yuko in the first place. In the aftermath of Yuko's confrontation with the War Devil at her high school, numerous Numerous students can be observed engaged in conversations, specifically highlighting the transformation of Yuko into a devil. One of the students point out how devils can easily deceive mentally weak individuals. When Yuko discloses the truth to Asa regarding her contract with the Justice Devil, it becomes apparent that her intention was not to save Asa from bullies, but rather to be idolized like Chainsaw Man and selfishly establish a friendship with Asa to avoid being friendless any longer. As a result of her actions, Yuko experiences the consequences and gradually succumbs to mental instability. Even confessing to Asa in her new fiend form poses a risk, as she may potentially try to harm or consume her. At one point, she loses control over herself and ends up choking Asa, further illustrating her increasing detachment and surrender to her devilish urges. During their farewell, Yuko cautions Asa against making a contract with the Justice Devil and reveals that the Justice Devil is present within their school. It is crucial to note that this marks the second appearance of the Justice Devil, with the first being as the class president and the second being through Yuko. In both instances, the Justice Devil targets individuals who seek their own interpretation of justice. Based on the accumulated information, there is a strong suggestion that the person masquerading as the fake Chainsaw Man has formed a contract with the Justice Devil and is driven by their personal pursuit of justice. It is likely that they have assumed the identity of Chainsaw Man to further their agenda. Segi is an active member of the Devil Hunter Club, an organization dedicated to hunting down and eliminating devils. In the universe of Chainsaw Man, where devil-related incidents account for for 7 out of 10 deaths. Joining the club suggests Seki possesses a strong sense of justice or a burning ambition to eradicate devils. Furthermore, like Haruka, it is highly probable that he is an avid fan of Chainsaw Man considering the widespread admiration and recognition of Chainsaw Man as a heroic figure in society. Seki may have formed a contract with the Justice Devil, enlisting its assistance in his mission to eradicate devils. This wouldn't be surprising since we know devil hunters in public safety established contracts with devils to combat and vanquish other devils. 
Recently, Segi was the first Devil Hunter Club member to arrive during Yoru's and Asa's battle in school, and he was brave enough to confront Yuko without any assistance. What's intriguing about Segi is his preference for brass knuckles, which could be interpreted as a subtle allusion to his desire to emulate the experience of wearing chainsaws without actually transforming into fake Chainsaw Man. Yuko has explicitly mentioned that upon forming a contract with the Justice Devil, individuals can experience a transformation where their sense of justice becomes a source of power and grants them the ability to read minds. If Yuko's unwavering commitment to justice led to the emergence of this devil, it is reasonable to speculate that Seki's profound sense of justice and deep admiration for Chainsaw Man might have triggered the metamorphosis of the fake Chainsaw Man. Furthermore, the revelation that fake Chainsaw Man shared crucial information about the falling devil with Asa and Denji gains plausibility if we consider the possibility that Segi had accessed the knowledge through his contract with the Justice Devil, enabling him to read the mind of the Falling Devil similar to how Yuko possessed the ability to do so. Segi checks all the boxes we know about Fake Chainsaw Man. The revelation that Fake Chainsaw Man is a member of the Devil Hunter Club aligns with Segi's own membership in the club. If the Justice Devil continues to linger within Asa's high school similar to Yuko and the class president, it is plausible that Segi has also entered into a contract with this devil. Segi's survival in his confrontation with Yuko, the devil responsible for wrecking havoc in the school, adds to the logic behind eliminating her. Plus, Segi's tall and robust physique matches the appearance of fake Chainsaw Man. The enigma surrounding the fake Chainsaw Man has been unraveled, unveiling Segi as the one assuming the role with the aid of the Justice Devil, granting him the ability to undergo a transformative change into the infamous persona. But hey, that's just a theory, a game, I mean, a Chainsaw Man theory. Well, what do you think? And to unravel more mysteries in the universe of Chainsaw Man, go ahead and click here.